that depends upon their geolocation and their competition. And so, you know, you're in New York, so you know how aggressive you have to be with that. I mean, like a lot of attorneys now are hiring services to do all their blogs for them and whatnot. And so you have to determine, one, what, what is your geolocation and what is your practice area competition. And once you find that out, then you can figure out how much blogging you need to do to compete with that. And make sure it's effective. Don't just throw up a bunch of stuff up there to attract the search engines. Make sure that your blogging um, always has some call to action at the end of it. So when someone, because you're going to get people come based on your blog and it's going to be obscure searches. But make sure that whatever you're talking about, you have some call to action. Whether you have a video up there, which you need to, you should, your video should mimic exactly what it, you're saying in the blog. Um, so you not only have the text of the blog, but you also have the video message coming through too. And then you should have some call to action specific to that information that you're blogging about. Um, so they raise their hand and you get their contact information, which is ultimately what you want to do on the web. No one's going to hire you because of your website. I'm Tom Foster from Foster Web Marketing. Jerry, thanks so much for coming out in business here in DC. We'll do the same and get up in New York to see you, buddy.